So news has been kind of slow this week, and people are going as far as Truro to find something to get up in arms about. And in Truro, they found it. The local Nova Scotia Agricultural College, soon to be part of the Dalhousie Mega Corporation of Schools, may lose their student union to the gaping maw of Dalhousie societies. To the students at NSAC, this sounds worse than Scotland being swallowed up by the union. But before you go painting yourself blue and screaming after freedom, let's think a little bit about what's actually being lost here. To be honest, I've never been much of a fan of student government, and I get a lot of flack for this, mostly from student government types. They're always the first to tell me that I'm a member in these unions, and that without them we'd be living in some sort of feudal dark ages, where university administrators enslave students in Dickensian factories in order to extract millions of tuition dollars and sit on giant piles of gold like some sort of malevolent Scrooge McDuck. But I don't really see university administrators in such a negative light, and I've been screwed around by them just as much as the next guy. But on top of that, I've never seen student government do more than two things. The first is to give wannabe politicians an impressive title for their resume, something like Vice President of Communications or Chief Compliance Officer. The other is to take money from students in the form of fees and redistribute that to societies around campus. This first function aside, student government can actually be vital to the life of a university. If they didn't redistribute the money, then the admin would have to. And to say nothing of the extra workload of 6,000 students whining to you for a check for their naked croquet league, universities everywhere are going bankrupt. This would probably throw some perspective on the $300 annual budget of the Scrabble Society. In this respect, the students of NSAC may actually be losing out. Now, their union will have to compete for funding with hundreds of other societies that go to the Dalhousie Student Union. But the truly remarkable thing about this situation is that the executives in the NSAC Student Union don't really care all that much. Normally, it's people with vice president in their name who are the first to lie down in front of the bulldozer and tell me that student unions are as necessary as free pizza at a staff meeting. This time, though, it's the students who are getting outraged, and in some respect, that's a good sign. It means that the NSAC Student Union is actually performing a valuable enough function that it's convincing students to go to bat for it. But to the NSAC students who are up in arms, I have this to say. What are you really losing? I mean, when it comes right down to it, you're losing some very skilled accountants. People who are good at taking money from one place and bringing it to another. And besides that, you're losing the prestige of having a bunch of fellow students with vice president in their name. And I hope the vice presidents of the world will forgive me for saying this, but in the end, that's not really that much.